Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Panzer. That's right, sports fans. 4.4 litres of gas puzzling monstrosity in a 1996 BMW 840Ci. And this is our next project. Let's go have a look inside. There you have it guys, the M62 V44. That isn't a tank engine, I don't know what is. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by that V8 on this wet evening, welcome to the Panzer Project, folks. Behind me, a 1996 BMW 840Ci, uh, fitted with the M62 B44 V8 tank engine. Uh, coupled to the ZF5 HP24 automatic gearbox. And I'm hoping that in this video, um, some of the disparate things that you'll have seen me doing over the past year and a bit will kind of start to make sense. Particularly on my left, our uh, project to develop a control system to allow us to fully uh, utilize the ZF5 HP24 automatic. And on my right, our Siemens uh, 1PV5135 AC induction motor, uh, kindly up, uh, supplied by EVTV. And behind the camera, where you kind of can't see it, is my ongoing um, AC inverter project. And uh, I was actually recently contacted by Johannes Hovner, who has made some improvements to the hardware. So we'll be implementing those in the uh, controller. So we're going to be making that motor with that gearbox. And we're going to go in the main battle tank. And we're going to drive it. Now, I've... Uh, probably going to be burned at the stake uh, for this project by certain 
uh, people within the BMW community. That's just, and uh, I'm sorry to say, but that's just too too bad because I'm going to do it it anyway. And uh, but I have received some very positive um, kind of uh, how should I put it positive thoughts from some people too. So that's all, that's also good. So why this car? Well, because it's it's there, and because I really like it. Um, up to fairly recent times, I didn't even know that this car ex existed. Uh, but believe it or not, it was on a particular forum uh, where there were a lot of detractors uh, going on about electric vehicles about a year and a half ago. Uh, and somebody actually proudly proclaimed that uh, he had one of these things and I knew when I saw that car I just fell completely in love with it. And I knew then what I was going to do and that was to give it a new lease on life and uh, do what I do best which is seems to be building electric BMWs. So this is the first video. I estimate we're going to be at this for some time. So welcome to the project. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I'm going to. Uh, I've been looking through some of the wiring diagrams, going through some of the harness loom, identifying the signals that I'm going to need to feed to the body electronics modules when we get rid of the Panzer engine. And uh, the good news though, is that I would absolutely not let a lovely ass kicking engine like that end up on a scrap heap, which is pretty much where it would have been destined if I hadn't purchased the car. Uh, because with the fuel consumption and the motor tax uh, rates that exist in Ireland right now it would be prohibitively prohib oh, prohibitively expensive to run this car as it is now. Uh, so this engine uh, has been sold uh, to a gentleman that I believe is going to put it into an E30 drift car. So it's going to uh, it's 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 going to a good home and uh, we are going to be putting that lovely Siemens in there in place of it. So it's a German motor for a German car. So, like I say, hope you guys enjoyed the project. Uh, it's going to be fun. We've got a lot of new challenges here. We have an automatic gearbox. We have an AC induction motor. We have a braking and power steering system uh, that isn't uh, like anything that I've seen before, it's a form of hydroboost from what I can uh, determine but there's an accumulator in there pumped to 3000 psi so that's also going to be fun. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do with the car itself. Um, this particular specimen uh, has got very low mileage in the last um, the sticker here. The last service was at 99,000 miles that was carried out on the 11th of June in 2009 and is now 105,000 miles on the car in uh, pretty much the end of August 2014. So it's done very low miles uh, but we've got some, some problems that we're going to need to fix. So I'm going to sign off. I'm uh, exhausted been a long week, been a long couple of weeks, but we have the project and we're going to get stuck in. So, as I say, uh, thanks to everyone that subscribed to me, thanks for watching and stay with us folks because this is going to be a blast.